Hello world, my name is Ben, this is AnyLogic 101, a video series where I share quick tips and tricks I learned over the years. And it is October the 27th of 2019, and in many parts of the world, last night we had the switch from summer daylight saving time to normal winter time. Um, and that can be a problem in your AnyLogic models. One of those little things that um, nobody really tells you about. Let's assume you have a little model, um, and I've set it up to run from the 25th of October to the 29th, so it spans the 27th of October where the daylight saving time is happening. And I have a very important event in my model that trace lines something every day. Uh, the model starts at 3 o'clock in the morning, so every day at 3 o'clock in the morning I want to trace line. This was triggered. Now, Normally with events like that, you want them to happen at 3 o'clock in the morning, every day. Now, the problem is, if we look into the trace line now, we can see it works Friday, Saturday, but from Sunday on, after the daylight switch, it's 2 o'clock suddenly. And that obviously can wreak havoc in your model, if you're not careful and don't know about it. Now, first of all, the reason for that. The reason is that this model setup with the recurrence time basically is blind to any time changes. It basically t ticks every 24 hours, every one day duration, it will trigger. It doesn't care about the actual time of the model. But luckily, if you want to use the actual time and say it should happen at three o'clock, there is a simple fix to that. So let's activate this slightly longer named event. Event accounting for daylight saving time. I set it up exactly the same way. It should trace line something, but the recurrence time, I use this function to timeout in calendar with an argument of a one day duration. So let's look at what that's supposed to do. It returns a timeout and model time units equal to the amount we're giving one day. And uh, note that the result also depends on the current model date. So it takes into account not only daylight saving time, but also leap years even leap seconds. So whatever official time is out there, it will account for that. So now I'm saying exactly at 3 o'clock, uh, 3 a.m. every day in the model, please trigger this. So let's ignore the other guys so we don't get swamped with trace lines. Let's start the model again. And this time, oops, we can see, come on, get bigger the trace line triggers exactly at three o'clock across all those days um, and it accounts for the daylight saving time and we'll do the same again when the daylight saving time switches on again in march so it's always going to be three o'clock so be mindful of that um, and remember that little function and be mindful of absolute and relative timing in, in any logic i hope that was helpful thanks a lot